Finishdown Radio with you. It's your boy Raider, Hater, Rob, and I am here at the festivities at the 2022 NFL Draft. I'm affectionately calling the NFL Draft Joke 2022 because it's a joke that this ain't got shit to do with the Las Vegas Raiders and the silver and black. At least it's not until, I don't know, sometime about 11 o'clock Saturday morning, maybe. Anyway, Raider Fan Radio with you here. Yeah, I'm hating. I told you that's what was going to happen. I was going to start hating, man, because I can't take it. <laughs> not going down Patriot language mugs. But anyway, it's good to see y'all. Black Hole Steph says hello. She's in the building, walking around, taking some pictures, doing her thing. And we also got a uh, stoner dude. He's not with us. He's rehearsing for uh, a big gig. All of you that are coming to town for the show, okay, uh, um, make sure you check in Friday night. I think it's 8 o'clock at the famous Tropicana on the corner of Trop and LVB. And uh, Stoner Dude will be kicking drums 420 with uh, Raider Head. They'll be doing their thing. So um, anyway, down here at the festivities, people starting to get here, uh, rolling in, ex-players, uh, fans. Um, right behind me, over my shoulder, is the stage uh, where they'll be having the draft itself, a unique setup where it's on the waters in front of the Bellagio. Many of you that's been here to Las Vegas know there's the water fountains that go off, so that's going to be incorporated somehow into the uh, whole draft thing. But, uh, you know, I really want to come down here be around this bullshit because it ain't got shit to do with the Raiders. Think about it. No first-round pick, no second-round pick. Now, there's talk going around that the Packers are interested in Waller. They had wanted Waller in the trade uh, with Devontae Adams. So, you know, the way I look at it, the Packers are feeling like somehow they got robbed or got, you know, done wrong or something or didn't get enough. So now they're trying to double back. Whatever. Because um, I really don't give a fuck. You know, <laughs> y'all running around here talking about y'all quarterback finally got Devontae Adams. He's finally got a wide receiver. As Black Hole Step been saying the last week, he had wide receivers. See, part of a quarterback's job is to make the players, no matter who they are, better around him. Think about how many no-name receivers Tom Brady made great. And he was a fucking six-round draft pick. But y'all can make excuses for Derek Carr y'all want to, because I really don't give a fuck. I'm just down here to do my duty, uh, representing Raider Fan Ready to let y'all know that uh, it's kind of silly for all of y'all to come so early because uh, there's no real Raider presence. There should be balloons everywhere. The Eiffel Tower should have Raider shit on it. You know, all of that. This is a rollout party for the NFL to invite all the other 31 teams to come to Las Vegas, grab your teams playing or not, um, come on down and hang out and enjoy the NFL experience in Las Vegas, irregardless of the Raiders. That's really what time it is, like we've been telling you, like I was telling y'all, you know, two years ago. You know, we called this shit, man. It's got nothing to do with the Raiders. There's no Raider representation. Now, locally, the Raiders have been stepping up, probably prompted by our criticisms and shit, to do some local things around the, the city, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? But there is no presence of them here at the Super Bowl. And yeah, there's going to be some fans sitting, I mean, excuse me, at the air trap. There's going to be some fans sitting, you know, down in the front. They've got uh, sections out, uh, marked out for 20 fans of each team to bring their, you know, best fans, the most colorful fans and all that. Uh, so, hopefully Violator, Gorilla Rilla uh, will be there. Maybe somebody went and found Spike at Howie. That would be great. Some of the old-time legends. And then some of the newer fans that are emerging, too. Uh, you know, so we'll see. You know, we'll see what they're gonna do, but, you know, yeah, I didn't really give a fuck to come down here, man. What is it to report? There's no really, there's some Raider fans here, they're sprinkling in, and um, as far as players, I don't know. You need a quarterback. So, you know, maybe they take uh, Carson Strong from Nevada up the way, their uh, third round pick. They don't pick until pick 86. What the fuck y'all gonna do for two days? Walk around here and talk to each other about how great your sorry ass quarterback is. Anyway, Raiderhead of Rob here. Make sure you check out Raiderhead. It'll be at the Tropicana.
Friday night, 8 p.m., Stoner Dude, Uncle Stoner Dude 420 will be there. It's going down. Good God, that girl's got a big ass. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, yeah, that's what's up. Um, also, want to let y'all know, uh, our last show, a little controversy with YouTube, man. Um, you know, YouTube is, I don't know, I don't want to say too much. You know, like Michael Jackson said in a 60 Minutes interview, I don't want to say too much. You know, but YouTube is tripping. Um, you know, messing with us that last show, there was some controversy over some footage we had up, and then they went on to, after we edited it out, Silver Black and the production people edited it out, uh, we put it back up, it passed inspection, and then there was a problem with allegedly our content and us celebrating 420. So, you know, I don't know what that's about. I see a lot of other sites up there, gang sites, all these old ex old ass rapper bodyguard motherfuckers talking about killing people. Yeah, back when you know they were shooting, and looting, and doing all kind of shit. Uh, you know, sites like I don't want to bust nobody out, but there's sites on there with mugs and smoking. Man, Joe Rogan smokes. So anyway, I don't know what that was about. You know, YouTube. We ain't trying to you know push no envelopes or nothing, man. We just you know practicing and you know free expression and free entertainment. And uh, so. You know, whatever guidelines we push or whatever, you know, we'll try not to do it again. But, uh, you know, I don't think we're, you know, really doing anything that a lot of other mugs ain't doing when it comes to, like, you know, drug usage or whatever. You know, uh, we're only smoking some of the ganja, you know, the straight vegetable, God-grown vegetable that there's a multi-billion dollar industry now legalized, you know. So, anyway, uh, what else is going on? Oh. Our next taped show, Pat McAfee, and the Pat McAfee show. Some of you and a lot of you sports fans and people that watch us, y'all know who he is. Very prominent show on the YouTube network and in general, I think he's on Spotify or Sirius or something. Anyway, I check him out too. You know, I mentioned him and name checked him before on the show. And we're not looking for no clout or whatever y'all call it, cloud chasing, whatever, cloud chasing, none of that. You know, we were before all you motherfuckers, so we ain't cloud chasing. But, we got a situation we think we might have caught them biting. You know, when y'all know how that goes, mugs be, be biting from us. Hold on, I'm getting a call from somebody important, I think. Hello? Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Nah, it's Raider Hater Rob now. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, uh, what's up? Y'all flying in? Yeah? Y'all coming in on Derek Carr Airlines? You'll probably miss the runway. Yeah. Well, I'm here just doing a quick spot, man, for the show. The draft is tomorrow, of course, the 28th through Saturday. And, uh, yeah, Raider Fan Radio on the spot, doing our thing. Right. No, there's no Raider fans down here. Why would they be? There's no pick until what? Saturday sometime. It'd be time for you motherfuckers to go home. What? Hell no, man. No, I'm not coming down here. I don't feel like tussling with all the pretend Hollywood wannabes, all the fake rappers, uh, all the fake football fans. No, I will not be down here. And you can't come where I'm going to be. Stay your ass down here with the tourists, spend $25 for a beer, $60 for a hot dog, you know, and enjoy yourself. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, there's no reason to be. Yeah, well, I gotta go. I gotta get back to my show. I don't wanna get out of here. Because I really don't give a fuck. All right. Yeah. You too. Have a safe flight. Anyway. Pat McAfee and them might have been. So, we'll be addressing that on our next tape show. It's a little something that's part of our show. Signature and very uh, key to our image of our show. That I think they bit. So, uh, just wanna let y'all know that. Our next tape show, we will be doing that. Um, as for y'all football team, um, what do they need? Uh, they need to win. A lot of you are excited about the promise of Devontae Adams, that wide receiver. You know, we'll see. You know, but uh, making excuses for number four, and a lot of you have made some bad ones, like he was going to take y'all to the Super Bowl last year. I remember some fans saying that. Oh, I wonder who that could be. You know who you are. Uh, and just these other wild, you know, wishes that y'all have, man. Well, we'll see. You know, I don't know about this Patriot infusion. 
you know, but y'all go on and drink the Kool-Aid. A lot of y'all would have been perfect for uh, Johnstown or Jamestown way back when uh, Jim Jones was running shit. Because uh, that's really what it is. Y'all been sitting around waiting for him to get a decent wide receiver. And I asked, what was wrong with Deshaun Jackson? I come here to have a breakout year with Henry Ruggs and some other wide receivers that he's had. You know, so that's not an excuse, but it's an excuse for you because I really don't give a fuck. So anyway, this is where it's gonna happen. Whole bunch of new 21, 22, 23 year old millionaires will be drafted tomorrow here in Las Vegas. All the hoes and pros are in town. You know, all the walkers and stalkers and pickpocketers, they're all in town. And uh, so it's gonna be a party. We'll see how Las Vegas turns it out. It's a party for the NFL. The NFL again, making a call to arms. You know, I wasn't welcome in Oakland. That was the message. It was tribal up there. We protected our turf. You know what I'm saying? But uh, now they've gotten the Raiders neutral. And so it's come one, come all. Whoever you are. You know, you can be from the fucking Canadian Football League. You're welcome in Las Vegas because it ain't got shit to do with the Las Vegas Raiders. Nothing. I mean, the whole point, you know, first round pick, it would have been great to have seen, you know, one of the Raiders come out there, or at least the second round, and call the pick. Have the fans react, the Las Vegas Raider fans, react to the next new Raider. But now, now, it'll be Saturday when you pick, around brunch time, some motherfucker from the University of Vermont, or, you know, fuck you tech, you know, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's cheap football, man. That's really what it is. Devontae Adams is not the answer. What's the answer? As I've been preaching for the two years, the RaiderFanRadio.com has been back. And make sure you check us out on YouTube. Um, is that it's attitude, man? It's identity. It'll always be that first. Because that's what made the Raiders what they were. And y'all been trying to get away from the Al Davis Raiders and that mentality. You can try to say that, you know, because football is soft, the Raiders have to play a certain style of watered-down football. Um, and you can say that the old way doesn't work. But as we've uh, said on our show many times, we see other teams that have adopted the Raiders style from 30 years ago, and they're winning with it. So it's only right that the architects of it should revert back to it and rebrand themselves in their old brand. Because this Mickey Mouse bullshit that's been going on, you know, whatever. That's not winning, man. You know, interception in the playoffs, second playoff ever, ain't winning. You know, in the clutch. It's Tony Romo, man, 2.0. Y'all are all happy with it. Well, Y'all all know how that ended, as the saying goes. So, you know, we'll see. Because, uh, I really don't give a fuck. I'm about to get out of here. NFL Draft, Las Vegas. The NFL rolls out the red carpet for the rest of the National Football League and not the Las Vegas Raiders. Right behind me. That's where it'll go down. In front of the Bellagio, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, tune in wherever you are and catch us. Our next show, uh, Raider Fan Radio, uh, show 32, I think it will be. Okay? So anyway, it's Raider Rob down here, you know, messing around, bringing you all the action. There isn't much action, but tomorrow it's going to be off the hook. So if you're coming into town, again, Raiderhead, Friday, at the Tropicana, the world-famous Tropicana. Make sure you also check out Stoner Dude's coloring book on stonerdudeart.com. Check us out on YouTube. Leave your comments. Hit us. Also, subscribe and like. And uh, again, sorry about the last show with YouTube. But uh, our website is done and finished, so we'll have that up soon and be exclusively back to work and independent for ourselves and bringing y'all our program. All right, so I'm out from Las Vegas on the strip at the 2022 NFL Draft. Look at that pink car, it's beautiful. Swing the camera around. That's nice. That's a, uh, oh, and then these clowns Morgan get in the way. But anyway, that's a nice car. I'm back. Nice driver, too. All right. We're out of here from Vegas. Your boy Red Rob, RedFanRadio.com. We'll see you soon. The views and opinions of RaiderFanRadio.Vegas, RaiderFanRadio.com, and RaiderFanRadio Media are not the views and opinions of the Las Vegas Raiders, Al Davis Football, Inc., or the National Football League. 
GreaterFanRadio.Vegas is an independent media source.